Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got another update for my Panda palette for you guys. And as you probably all know by now, I'm panning the Too Faced Enchanted Glamournant um, palette that looks like this, but I'm just taking this one out when I'm using it because I don't wanna have to pull this out of the big book every time I'm trying to use it. So I'm focusing on all these eyeshadows in here and I'm gonna take you through how I've been using them over the last month and the progress that I've made. So let's just start at the top. I've been focusing on um, in the buff quite a bit over the last month. I've been using this one on my brow bone and kind of as a setting powder for my eye primer as well. And I've definitely expanded the pan. Before it was about as big as um, the exclusive shade that's right next to it, but now you can definitely see a difference. So I have high hopes that I will be able to actually finish that one by the next time. And I think it's about time because we're almost at the middle of the month and I haven't finished one single shadow out of this palette yet. So I'm looking forward to actually kicking my first one out. Um, yeah. Not exclusive, I haven't really used because I've been focusing on in the buff um, all the time and kind of using these for like the same way. Um, then I've got George and Wheezy and I can actually see a proper dip in here by now. I um, hope you guys will be able to see that as well on camera. And this is my inner corner highlight that I'm using every single day unless I forget. But normally I'm using that every single day as my inner corner highlight. Um, it's not moving extremely fast but at least it's moving so that's something then we have velvet revolver which i already finished um before i started this project so that doesn't really count um and then i've got honey pot and i've been using honey pot a little bit more this month because the sun came out and it was just a really nice um golden color to use this month and you can probably see that there is a little bit of a dip starting to form in there so that makes me excited because now i've got a dip in almost all of them. I think Ooh and Ah is the only one that doesn't really show any use yet, but all the other shades definitely show at least some use at this point. Then we've got Teddy Bear, and my goal last time was to try and hit side pan on this one. And as you can see, I did. I'm using that one um, as my crease color every single day that I'm applying makeup. Um, it's not moving very quickly, it is pretty hardly pressed in there, but you can definitely see this, the pan expanding every month again and again. And I've actually hit side pan this time. So that makes me pretty excited. My first side pan of this project. Um, then I've got another exclusive color, which is a purple. And I don't really use it very much, but I actually used it today. So I'm not sure how well you guys will be able to see in my eye look. But at the moment I'm using um, Boy Toy on my eyelid. I'm using exclusive kind of as an outer third partly crease color um, teddy bear as my transition slash crease shade. And I'm using this exclusive shade at the bottom as my outer V color and my eyeliner as well, actually. So yeah, that's the look I'm wearing today. So I've used this one once in this project, well, over the last month, if I'm correct. Um, but you can see a little bit of usage on it, so that's nice, I guess. Um, then I've got Boy Toy. Um, I was focusing a little bit more on Honey Pot this month, so you wouldn't see that much progress on Boy Toy. But towards the end of the month, I've been trying to use it a little bit more, just because I'm hoping to actually hit pan on that one over the next month. Um, so let's see if I can actually do that. But there is a good dip in it, so I think it should be possible. Let's see. Um, Peach Fuzz is one that I'm not really using too much yet because I think I can actually use that as kind of an all over the lip color as well. So I'm working on these two first. Peach Fuzz does have quite chunky glitters in it, so I'm not really sure what that's gonna look like. But for now, I just like using all these other shades a little bit more than that one. So that's just kind of on the bench for now. Um, the green exclusive shade I've used a little bit this month, but not a lot. So you wouldn't really see too much difference in that one. And then I've got Label Whore, which I actually started using over the last week, maybe two weeks. And you can actually see a little bit of a dip starting to form in that one. It's fairly powdery, so I'm expecting this one to move fairly quickly as well. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. It's kind of a strange color because it seems to have a brown base, but there is a lot of green glitter in it. But when I then apply it to my outer V, because that's where I'm trying to use it most of the time, um, the green doesn't really transfer very much. It's like the glitter just falls off when I try to apply it and I just have that kind of darkish brown base left, which is fine because that's kind of what I would use it for anyway. 
um, but yeah, it's not really the shade that you expect it to be, basically. Um, then we've got Glamazon, which I haven't used over the last month, uh, the moment I hit pan on that one. I used it a little bit still, but then I started focusing on hitting pan on all the other shades. Um, this exclusive shade, I hit pan on this uh, month, so that was really exciting, that was my goal. And I think I hit pan like three days after finishing my previous update, so yeah <laughs> so i've been using it little bits here and there still but it's so dry and hardly pressed that you can barely see that i've still been using it um but i've also been using label whore quite a bit as well of course so um then ooh and ah uh, i just haven't really used maybe i used it kind of on my lower lash line once but that would be it and then stiletto as you guys know i'm using that one as my eyeliner most of the time and well you can see some progress but when you're using it as an eyeliner it's not moving extremely quickly or anything so yeah that is how i'm using all of my eyeshadows at the moment um and i've made some nice progress but there still is so much product left to go before the end of the year so i'm kind of getting a little bit nervous but i still really like using all the shades so i'm uh, happy enough for now um then let's set some goals for next month so what i want to do is definitely try and finish off in the buff so i finally have my first finished eyeshadow in here um i might be able to do that a little bit beforehand and if so i'm going to try and expand the pan on this exclusive shade a little bit as well but let's just start with actually finishing this one off first then i'm hoping to hit pan on boy toy as well i'm going to be using that over like as my lid shade most of the time and apart from that, I feel like I actually might be able to hit pan on Label Whore if I keep using that as my outer V color, just because it's so powdery. So I'd say these three would be my main goal. Um, and then I'm just gonna keep working on the other shades. I'm gonna keep using Teddy Bear in my crease most of the time, so that's what I'm gonna keep working on still as well. I'm kind of hoping I can hit side pan on Stiletto, but we'll see. Um, yeah, and that is it for now on my Panda palette, um, at least the eyeshadow part, because of course this palette also has a little bit of a face part to it, which I will show you quickly as well. So we've got the blush and we've got the highlighter bronzer in here. Um, the blush in La Vie en Rose is what I'm using every single day at the moment. And I feel like I can see a tiny bit of a dip, but considering I've been using it for this whole month non-stop you can barely see that i've been doing that so this is going to take me a little while to work through as well i don't expect i will hit pen on this one by next update maybe in two months i hope in two months but we'll see and then the bronzer keeps being kind of that shade and i'm like mm, i don't really know how to use it or i'm already focusing on another highlighter and a bronzer so this is gonna come just not at the moment i guess and yeah, that is my whole palette and that are all my goals and progresses for um, this month and next month. So thank you guys very much for watching. I really hope I can finish off my first shade by the next update. And I hope to see you for that one and any of my other videos as well, of course. Thank you guys very much for watching and bye for now.